Welcome into the channel. I want to start off by giving a shout out to Evan, who I met at Campers Haven today. I hope you got on some fish. Well, tip number one, when you get to the dock, have light feet. Try to be quiet. Sure, the smaller bluegill leave and come back and they'll bite. The bigger ones are more aware. The older, the wiser. So you wanna try to be as quiet as possible. We are at Camper's Haven in Bad Axe. It's a catch and release pond. It has giant bluegill sunfish um, I'm just gonna give you some tips and tricks I throw this out there nothing throw it out I'm getting nothing not a nibble not anything okay now the reason that is the reason this is catching nothing today, that's a good bait. The reason that's not hooking up on any fish is because this is a catch and release pond. They've seen it a thousand times. So what's the solution? Let me show you. This was the smallest hook that I had. I like to use an even smaller hook than this, probably half this size. Um, what you wanna do is at at a place where people feed fish, what do they feed them? They typically feed them something cheap, like corn, uh, oatmeal, bread. Well, oatmeal and bread stay on the top. They stay right on the surface. So when you come down here, the way to do it, and you just take off small chunks and toss it out and look, that fish wasn't even there. The fish wasn't even there when I was fishing with that soft plastic. And that's the difference. Look at it. Look at them coming. Look at them all. Okay. There we go. There's the bread. You can't see the hook. Right? And now you keep them... You keep them occupied like this, right? You keep throwing out a, a few of them. And then you drop your hook out. It's sinking, so they might not take it. Got them. And boom. You're on fish, just like that. And look at him. He's been caught a couple times. Now, after you've caught a fish and released it, Go ahead and, and bait your hook again. Have that ready. Okay. Now, after they eat your bait, let them take it for a minute. That bread needs to soften up and they need to get that hook exposed because that hook is, is covered up so they don't see it. And it has to be that way. If they see it, they won't bite it these bigger fish are very smart so once you get your bait ready don't hold it over the water either because i'm telling you these fish are smart it's crazy they see that bait hovering like that they know it's somebody fishing but if you just toss it in and get them comfortable eating just get them comfortable eating it oh almost Another another trick, if you don't have a hook, if you don't have a way to keep your bait on top of the water, like if your hook is too heavy, here's another trick. Start taking your bait, ball it up good, and then throw it in. It sinks. They get comfortable with sinking bait. Okay? Just ball it up and it starts sinking and it's gone. It's gone.
take your bread. And just smash it. And you want it flat. So smash it flat. And then it sits right on top of the water. Just like the rest of the bread does. There we go. There's a good one. The little bait holder hooks are helping to keep the bread on the hook a little bit longer. I have noticed that. I think we've got some pretty sharp teeth. Cool looking fish. I'd say about uh, eight and a half, maybe, maybe nine. This place has all kinds of cool stuff. Full court basketball, a jumping pillow, a pavilion over there for some events. They've got disc golf out here, campgrounds back there. They've got a pond up front. Um, right inside there is the pool. A little mini golf. They got a kitchen, a little gift shop. All right, guys, just got done fishing. And after a long day of fishing, this is what you get to come to. So it costs $5. You get to come here and fish, enjoy the day out there in the hot sun. And then you get this nice little pool. enjoy the content like subscribe and I'll see you on the next one